Hi everyone and welcome back to another video with me Shruti. It's been a while. <laughs> um, I'm Shruti from enlightenmentcourses.com and it's all this time and I got this message from spirit that a video like this was needed because perhaps there's uh, souls that are awakening right now and they need to see a video like this. So this is my perspective. I don't think I've ever made a video like this before, by the way. So this is my perspective on signs to know that you are a starseed. <laughs> So I'm not going to also go too much in depth about what a star seed is. Um, I'm assuming that most of the people that are coming on here are looking for signs that they are. So they already know what the term means. But um, we'll go into that, you know, just a little bit and then I'll begin. So if you're new here, please do subscribe, hit the bell notification. That's how you know when I put up new videos and you'll, you know, get notified. And give this video a thumbs up. If you like topics like this, then that's how I know what kind of videos you'd like to watch from me. Okay, so how do you know that you are a star seed? So um, before I begin, uh, please know that you have to sort of, it's, it's not just as if you get a tick, you know, one of these signs apply to you. That means definitely that you're a star seed. Um, I would say ideally all of these signs should apply to you um, or at least most of them. So the thing is to be honest with ourselves because it's not as if being a star seed is this, you know, um, it's like the sense of achievement that people get sometimes. That's not what it is. All souls in creation were created completely equal. They just have different missions. They have a different vibration. And, um, you know, star seeds at this time on the planet have a particular purpose and mission. And that's all it is. <laughs> so be honest with yourself because when you're honest, that's when you you know truly get anywhere anything else is just an illusion so um you know of course the way that we come into ourselves the way to ascension the way to enlightenment is through fully getting to know ourselves at the core level so if we just lie to ourselves um you know that's not the way that you ever achieve it okay so moving on so what's the first sign so the very first sign is if you have this sense that you were born on a mission so, you know, the main purpose of your life, regardless of what career you have, what you do, it's like a sense that I was born um, for a very particular purpose. It's like a mission. You almost feel like a soldier. Um, and it's, it's like a soldier has a particular mission. And sometimes in the beginning, we don't know what our mission is or we don't know, know it to, a, to the, you know, its full extent. <laughs> um, but that's OK, because there is a core mission that all of us have. But that mission, how it looks in the physical um, and how to apply it called, uh, constantly keeps changing as well. But uh, this mission that we have as a star seed, if, you, if you're a star seed, that mission will also involve um, the, the greater good. So it's a mission of service. That means that, you know, I mean, it's it's very nice when we are ambitious and we do things for ourselves and we do things to protect and provide for our families and things like that. But um, when it comes to being a starseed, that purpose, that mission and that service becomes for all of life. It becomes for the beings that are present on earth. It becomes, it basically applies to the shift in consciousness. So we're serving the shift in consciousness that is currently happening on the planet. Sorry, somebody keeps calling me. So, <clears throat> And um, you deeply know this inside of your bones. Like there is this sense of purpose that you feel and you may or may not fully know what it is yet, but it's that um, nagging feeling like you're not doing enough sometimes as well. Or um, the sense that, you know, that this this can't be it. This is not uh, that you just have a job, you have relationships. All of that makes you feel a little bit bland inside, a little bit incomplete. That it can't just be it. It can't just be this. Um, there's something greater. And, you know, um, it can sometimes lead to a bit of an existential crisis in the beginning when we don't know what our mission is. But that's how you sort of get there. There's a dark night of the soul period. I have a video on the dark night of the soul. I'll link it uh, up here. You'll find it somewhere here. Um, otherwise, you can find it just on my channel. <clears throat> and um, so there's a dark night of the soul period where we go through... Um, that those you know feelings of confusion and feelings of uh basically just going into that depth of our soul and then from there that's when we start finding things that's where the light is buried as well okay so basically um 
going back to the first point you're born on a mission you're here on the path of service and that is how you feel different from others on this planet so number two what is the second sign that you are a star seed the second sign is that you have some psychic abilities that have started to open up um psychic or intuitive abilities so uh you know perhaps you didn't even believe in things in the past in in spiritual things and that there are other planes that exist and all of these things um weren't true for you before but suddenly you feel like you know these these intuitive abilities have started to open up and this typically happens when um you know our mission becomes important at a certain time in our lives it's like a it's something we decide before we incarnate on the planet that when that awakening will happen so usually it's something that's decided beforehand and then it's triggered this awakening um at the perfect time for all of us so the first stage of that is that these psychic and these intuitive abilities start to open up within us and we discover that the five senses that we have you know seeing hearing uh taste those physical five senses basically are not the only senses that we have because there are other planes of existence that are there and we can also feel those planes and um you know the beings that are on those planes and uh what not so basically there are other senses there are spiritual more subtle senses that we also contain um and they are also our gifts and some of these gifts they start to open us up and in the beginning um you know some of the things that we experience because of that can be a bit uh sort of quote unquote negative or something that requires healing or we see a lot of negativity in the world and you know we feel like we're there to heal it but also it triggers us sometimes or it scares us you know like it's like this never ending um clean up process almost that we have to do or it can feel overwhelming because we don't quite understand it but basically some psychic some intuitive abilities have started to open up for you um that relate to uh that you know are constantly showing you the the purpose that you're here for which is to hold a certain vibration and with that vibration you're healing you are holding and you are integrating all the aspects around you whether they are people whether they're these energies um and you're assisting in that sense um so yeah i hope this makes sense i'm not going to go into it in more details So the third sign that you are a star seed um in a sense you stop sort of relating to other people in relationships so relationships start to feel very bland i've also made a video about this i'll link it up here and basically you know in case i forget to link it up here um some of these topics are addressed in my playlist called moving to the fifth dimensional vibration or moving into 5d something like this is the name of the playlist and i have a lot of these topics So what happens is is that we stop relating to other humans uh, or you know in relationships friendships and uh, especially love relationships like uh the closest relationships that we have there's this feeling of disconnection and it's this distance that happens um at the same time you know there's this great level of empathy that we develop with with the people that we're close to and that we and just human beings around us and all of life in fact so um because something greater is opening up within us you know this sense of um connecting to the realms that are not only physical that there are other realms as well that exist in creation and because we are connecting to that and we're connecting to different levels of purity as well so any um other beings so essentially what i'm trying to say is that you know relationships on our planet because our planet you know the humans they're still finding themselves um so there is a lot of codependence that is there on the planet so people have hooks in each other you know um it's it's almost like they're fulfilling each other's need so of course that's also nice but uh, i'm talking about the type of need where it's like um we don't feel whole within ourselves you know humans they don't feel whole within themselves and they're trying to look for something outside of themselves to fill that up and to get rescued in a sense and then they do the same for others and that's their idea of love whereas true love divine love and balanced love is not about trying to save others um it's really about finding that love inside of yourself being a whole 
and then meeting other holes in the world <laughs> not h-o-l-e holes but w-h-o-l-e like other authentic beings other beings that are fully integrated within themselves even if they're not yet fully integrated even if you're not yet fully integrated but you know that's what your uh, focus in life is and that's what their focus in life is and those relationships are more soulmate relationships but of course we don't uh, automatically just move into soulmate relationships um, in the beginning, there's a there's this period where we have to come into ourselves first. We have to take a deep dive. We have to figure out what it is that we are, what we are here for. A lot of it has to do with finding um, this mom this mission of ours, which is not just one thing. It's mainly just our vibration and finding out what that vibration is so that we authentically live it. <clears throat> okay, so going back to the point, you can't really relate to others at the same level that you used to, or maybe you wonder you know you always thought that you will find this great love in your life and um and you somehow haven't been able to find it um and you see others around you are able to because um because other humans that are walking around they hold a certain vibration like most humans have a vibration um you know that is lower and it matches each other so they're able to meet each other and it feels like this you know there's this big attraction that's there but for those souls that move above that vibration that are more in 4D and start moving into 5D especially, um, start living that vibration in their body, uh, that is the experience that they crave and they love everybody even if other people are, you know, not living um, the same way or they're still choosing the old. There is this great love and empathy that's there but also you can't say yes to things that are not balanced because your main vibration is balanced. It's like, you know, you're, you're healthy so um if other people are i don't know doing things that are unhealthy um substances or whatever it is um you love them but you're not gonna partake so it's something like that so when relationships uh, in the human world are based mostly in these hooks that we have in each other which is codependence you know uh, these drama this these patterns that are there doesn't mean that you'll never uh, experience that yourself or you'll never make a bad choice or you'll never get triggered, never get angry. I'm not talking about that. That doesn't exist in reality. But the main vibration that you hold is of balance. That's when we're moving into 5D and especially when we fully integrate that vibration, that is the core experience we have. So let's say something like 85% of the time, that's the experience we choose. And it's the dominant vibration in our body. I've, I've explained this example in so many of my videos, but it's sort of like if you're a healthy person, you're going to experience health 80-85% uh, of the time. It doesn't mean you'll never catch a cold right um you'll never ever get sick at all but it's 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 a completely different vibration from somebody who is sick all the time uh and that's their core vibration they can also laugh and be happy but that doesn't mean that they are not sick so that's what i'm talking about you don't have to be perfect in the sense that you never get triggered there's no lower emotion emotions are supposed to move through our body we're supposed to feel them but then we let them go they don't become resident and stuck in the body so that's the difference between a person who is sick or a person who is in a lower state versus a person who is in a higher state um it's not about perfection we all have um, quote unquote flaws whatever you want to call them so you can't relate to other people in relationships and so it's hard for you to find love relationships uh you know um because it's not a one-on um it doesn't feel like a equal other people don't feel like an equal in that sense or their core focus is something else in life and yours has changed okay so the last point let's just keep one more point <laughs> don't want to make this video too long the fourth sign that you are a star seed is that uh, I've kind of touched upon this already, but you have unbelievable empathy. Um, but at the same time, there is a sense of unattachment, like non-attachment with people. This is not the same as uh, detachment where you don't feel anything or you just cut off from your emotions and, you know, they're over there and you're here and you can't feel anything for people. That's not what it is. But like I was explaining in my previous point, they don't have hooks in you. So the, the vibe, so for example, you know, if somebody is doing something... Um, or they invite you in for a relationship or the main pattern that they establish when they talk to you, when they meet you um, is, is more based in um, this style of attachment. Uh, what you feel for them is this sense of balanced love. And you can see what they're doing and you won't say yes to the things, um, you know, 
that they're inviting you into that you don't want to partake in anymore but at the same time you feel a sense of love for them and it's just because you can see you have seen all those parts of you that felt like that that felt unloved that didn't know that they were also loved that they were also perfect even in what whatever they were doing and these other people that are walking around you these beautiful souls they haven't discovered that yet you know and so the majority of them uh, the the majority of their parts uh, this this part these parts of them don't know that they are love that they are just perfection that the perfection of creation so when you can see that in others you know even when they act broken and they that's what they identify with so there is this beautiful great level of empathy that's there for your fellow humans and really you know all beings in creation uh but at the same time there is a sense of unattachment where um it's this love that's there but it's not based in agenda it's not based in um these sort of um things that we plan you know like we have like we control like we want a certain result and things like that and it has it comes from fear basically it's it's not uh, always bad wanting a certain result but when it when we're trying to control too much and it's coming from a place of fear and that's the operative um that's the current that operates things that are happening um you know on the at the surface level there is an undercurrent that's influencing that that's what i'm talking about so you don't um connect with that anymore you don't allow it anymore so there's the sense of unattachment and sometimes in the beginning it can feel like why am i feeling this why am i feeling unattached from everything it can feel scary as well you feel like am i going to lose my family am i going to lose let's say you're married or you you have somebody in your life my husband my girlfriend whatever uh, am i going to lose them forever and you have to allow um you know because love is free so you have to fully embrace love whatever that means and then whoever is meant to stay stays and whoever is not meant to stay you know there is this gradual this uh, process of um, release that happens and sometimes roles change as well you know the people are still there in our life but they've come back in a different way and you bond in a different way <coughs> so uh yeah i hope that um these signs and my explanation for them were very clear let me know in the comments below if you think that you are a star seed you come from um you know an existence a plane of existence that is not the earth and of course we're all in a human body now but uh, the the main the core vibration of you the main soul that you were born as within creation um the purpose with which you were born in um you know initially and your core vibration is something else is belongs to another star system belongs to another realm essentially um you know in a simplified way that's what a star seed is sort of like they come from the stars or whatever um but they're here on this planet now in a physical human body because that's what we need right now we need this new vibration we need this these beings that have not had these uh years decades eons of you know uh being um trapped in the patterns here and uh that that's all they remember and they play that out again and again in every lifetime so they've come in human bodies in human form um with their dna still intact and still remembering love or you know being able to remember love suddenly at a certain point in their life when that awakening had to happen and that is their service <laughs> so that is what a star seed is um i hope that you enjoyed this video leave any comments below and please uh, check out my personal services on enlightenmentcourses.com i have lots of courses really beautiful wonderful creative courses as well um as well as personal services that you can avail skype sessions um you know there's all kinds of things it's kind of late here so <laughs> i'm myself i'm having a hard time remembering all the names but i do online sessions and um my courses are also very good so check check them out please and uh, i will catch you in the next video please oh, last thing i want to say is that if you are buying any courses any services from me um in this month they will go directly to um like all of the 100% of the funds will go to helping the stray cats in my community which have been facing some problems i made another video about this before and i got some funds from some of you um that bought my services and thank you so much i'm ever so grateful and you know who you are cuz i have contacted you personally but uh that mission is ongoing uh we've done some of the that work i have i mean and um some of it is still left i'll probably speak about it at length in another video but thanks for all of your support and check out my website and
and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video